a fun night drinking with friends turned tragic when Ateo Aguilar thought it would be cool to take a selfie with a gun. Before the incident happened, Aguilar previously took selfies showing him posing next to cars and sitting cool with bottles of alcohol. But the man's endless search for the most impressive snaps ended when he borrowed a gun of his friend for a selfie. Not aware it was loaded, as he waved it around, it accidentally went off, firing a single round to his forehead. Medics were quickly called out, but he died on the way to hospital. He was just 21 year old. A snake handler in India, Somnath Matre, known for saving over a hundred venomous snakes in his town. He often posted photos on his Facebook showing him kissing them. The last moment of his life, he was called out to rescue a cobra hiding under the car engine. Eventually, he got the snake out, but before he put it to the safe place, he did the usual routine to kiss the serpent for a selfie. As he attempted to kiss the venomous snake on its back, it seemed it was not a lucky day for a snake handler as it turned around unexpectedly and bit him. He was rushed to the nearest hospital, but he died. Days later, he was just 18 years old. A study published in Nature Communications recently estimated 64,100 deaths that are caused by snake bites occur in India. The man in the pink shirt tried to take a group selfie with a huge python that they rescued after it was seen roaming around the school. When the man moved closer to pose for a picture, the snake bit him on the shoulder. The snake was then taken away and the man only suffered minor injuries. This man took a selfie video with three cobras doing a stunt with them. He pulls at the tails of the cobras and tries to play with them. However, one among the three reacted aggressively and beat his knee. The shark man tried to pull it away but it refused to let it go easily. Luckily, he was rushed to hospital and survived. This man taking a selfie with a cobra, not sure if he's aware that the cobra is one of the most poisonous snakes in the world. One bite is enough to kill 20 people or even an elephant. At 27th floor of Luxor Tower in Panama, footage shows a woman climbing up the balcony for a selfie. Nearby, construction workers film as she took photographs in fear that she would fall moments before she tragically plunged from the building. According to witnesses, she was still holding a selfie stick as she fell. This is the moment a girl died taking selfies when she accidentally knocked into a river by an oblivious tourist in India. The shocking footage filmed in the coastal state of Odisha in East India ends when witnesses terrifying screams. Local fire crews search for 22 hours before finding her dead. Near Obama was at the popular picnic spot with friends. Then the man, unaware of her presence, steps back and loses his balance, falling into the young woman.
The footage shows police doing their best to rescue these two girls, risking their life to take a perfect selfie at the middle of the river in India. Police revealed that a group of six girls gone out for a picnic at Pinch River. The girls happily took selfies with the river, but the other two decided to venture the middle of the river for even more impressive selfies. Although it was raining, the girls kept going farther. Suddenly, the water level rose and found themselves trapped. This 19-year-old man was so obsessed taking the perfect selfie, he would skip school and stay up late at night taking hundreds of photos. He started posting selfies on Facebook when he was 15. His friends would post cruel comments that took a huge toll on his self-esteem. So he started taking more and more, trying to get the approval of his friends. He would wake up early before school just so he could take dozens of selfies and spend hours looking at them, scrutinizing the features of his face and body. He dropped out of school so he could stay home taking selfies. He would look at photos of his idol, Leonardo DiCaprio, take selfies in different poses, trying to look like him, but he felt so ugly. Frustrated to get the perfect selfie, Danny attempted suicide but was luckily rescued by his mother and taken to hospital. He told ITV's Daybreak, Perfection is impossible. I just keep taking them and taking them.